Hello, hello, and welcome on in to another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Sarah. And I'm Matt. Today we're drinking Pinhook and their new release of the bourbon whiskey. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and click on that little notification bell. Matt, why don't you tell us a little bit about this? All right. This is the first bourbon released by Castle and Key Distillery, their own juice, not MGP. This is a beautiful, <laughs> unchill filtered. So this is called Pinhook Bohemian Bourbon High Proof Kentucky Straight Bourbon. It's okay. a very nice, lovely, long name. It's uh, 35 months old. So anyway, I think if you, if you look at the history of uh, Pinhook, we've got it on the rye that we did was their first release. So this is Crop 2020. But yeah, so this beautiful horse here is Bohemian Bourbon's name, this horse. And this is the first time there's a filly on the bottle, which is interesting. So the first bourbon. So it's 34 months old, 114.5. It is a 75 corn, 15 rye, 10 barley mash bill. So it's the very first one that is distilled, aged, and bottled at the Old Teller, which is now, of course, Castle and Key. And there was 100 barrels blended together by Sean Joseph, who's the co-founder and master taster. And so, like we said, and then later I'm going to compare it to the Bourbon Country cast strength from last year, or actually from 2018, that was 115.3. That is a 3 from MGP, but it's a 75 corn, 20.5 rye, and 4.5 malt of barley. So and let's that's first about what this... Uh, cool thing is and that was something they sourced while they were waiting on their own juice correct exactly okay so we want to see how it goes so this is their first juice very first bourbon released by castle and key so this is the first bourbon to actually be released from the old total store in almost 60 years wow which is pretty cool so very very cool so what did you say the proof is on this one 114.5 it's not there on the nose. No, it's not, which That's, is scary. Yeah, that, that could be very scary. It smells like a bottle of Mond. Yeah, it just... it. If that even. Yeah. I mean, if, you can uh, go deep in that glass and it just does not burn. Uh-oh. Before we get too far ahead of ourselves, if you uh, need a little bit more information on Pinhook, uh, we will link that video at the end for the video we did on Ride On, their first rye release. Mm-hmm. Correct. Uh, it's got a lot of cinnamon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Some brown sugar in there. Yeah, classic bourbon notes for sure. Very We're playing so. in those uh, that same territory where we got that vanilla, caramel, baking, baking spices. spices. Yeah, cinnamon seems yeah. to be more prevalent. It does. It definitely yeah. pops out of the glass more the most. Yeah, I got some like tangerine. Yeah. Some Ooh. Nutmeg, some like lemon squares of powdered sugar on top, and then like you said, the uncooked dough with your typical vanilla caramel. Slight, a little bit anise. Slight sweet citrus. Yeah, it's like yeah, a cinnamon orange. Exactly. Right. Cinnamon oranges. Or those oranges that, the, the gummy ones that are covered in sugar. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like those. Those are tasty. Yeah, they are. Oh, we should do an episode talking about those. That'd be fun. William won't eat them. Oh, oh, that's I, don't right. like sugar. Sugar. I don't like gummy products either. That's... Oh, you don't like like gummy bears or anything like that? Ah, funky. Mm-mm. I like them. They're tasty. <laughs> we need to do candy and whiskey night. Mm. You can get down with chocolate and whiskey night. You can do that too. All yeah, right. This is this is a just your typical bourbon. It doesn't really have a whole lot extra going on in the nose. Mm. Wow, that's uh tangerines with lemon pudding. It really is. It's got that citrus on on the nose or on the palate as well. Mm-hmm. It does have that cinnamon right up front. Uh-huh. Yeah. Again, the proof isn't overpowering on just the initial taste itself, but it mm-hmm. is finishing. It's got a long finish and it's kind of swelling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A lot Getting of caramel coming up from the inside. Kentucky hug. Yeah, it definitely has that. It definitely warms you. Yeah, the initial part, yeah, you don't get it. And then it really warms you up on that finish. Lots of caramel, vanilla, oak. Same thing that lemon yeah. square with that powdered sugar. It's really chewy. I like the uh, the note of the orange. Uh, and there's there's the citrus dominance to this, mm-hmm. and it's almost um, down that path of where it gets almost tart. Yeah, mm-hmm. but not quite. Not like it doesn't the make it sour. There. Oh, not like sour candies or that that kind of. But just no, but just down there. that path. Sweet tart. Yeah, like orange. Yeah, it's also got this like floral component, but also it's got like trail mix, like dried papaya and dried pineapple and almonds in it too. Yeah, that's pretty that fruit, tasty. Fruit sweetness. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mm-hmm. like that. That's good. Yeah, this one, uh, I guess their initial release is 50 bucks. Um, yeah, this, I really like that. That's quite good. For 114 barrel proof, I mean, 
It's not first, first annual first release of their bourbon. Yeah. Right. Bourbon I mean, they did a good job for the first release. I think they did a damn good job. Interested to see what's going to be coming out. Mm hmm. Oh. Water didn't, water didn't do no. Water subsides all the flavors. Uh, everything kind of shrinks, everything kind of dials down. Um, I prefer that without the drop. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, let's compare the Pinhook MGP version to it then and see what we think. And so we're just going to give you a comparison. We'll give you a full review of this MGP one at some point in time. But we just want to compare to see how the juice compares to what they were sourcing to what they own. Are you getting a nose? I'm getting a slight nose. It's it's a little leathery. Leathery. Yeah. I'm having I'm I'm having to spin the glass in order to get vapors to pop out, even at a hundred and what was that? Hundred fifteen point three. I also cool. like the wax better on the new ones too. It's a prettier magenta color compared to this kind of like off-colored magenta. Kind of sticks out more. It does. It looks better, draws, I think, on the shelf. It draws your eye more. Yeah. There's the vapors. Yeah. They just took a little while. The, the alcohol proof on the nose is you it comes out more. Mm -hmm. And they're not that far off. Oh, no, I would say like, the, the ethanol vapors come off of this one more. Yeah. The, yeah. The other one doesn't have as much of the ethanol vapors popping out of it. The proof is kind of buried because that's what I usually associate the proof to is, is how much actual alcohol vapor am I smelling. Oh, uh, in this yeah. one, MGP version, I'm so, smelling a lot more of the alcohol. Their version, um, you know, it's been sitting out in the glass for a little bit. You know, the MGP one has been as well. I say we pour these at the same but time. So I get so much more of like a big red on the new one that I don't get on the M MGP. See, and for me, the MGP's got like this cotton candy smarties sweet yeah, it, with that powder, like chalky powdered sugar, you know? It's, I, it's I think a, cotton candy, that spun sugar. It's yeah. a slightly different sweetness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. I think I prefer the, the fruitiness of their stuff, to be honest. It's very different. Yeah, the MGP is really a, a classic bourbon, right down home plate kind of flavoring. Um, yeah, there's really nothing is. off. There's nothing wrong. Yeah, with it. good. It's a it's a crowd pleaser. The alcohol vapors again do not show up um, mm -hmm. hardly at all in comparison to what you're expecting out of 115. It is a lot smoother and rounder on my palate uh, than I was expecting it to be. But I will say that at 115, it doesn't have that swelling. Mm -hmm. that, that the the new 114 the one they make the one they make has wow. and yeah. i mean the difference that a point of proof can make yeah. is kind of it's kind of crazy to me it doesn't yeah. well as much the finish doesn't linger as much nope. it's it's kind of there but it's just not the same mm -hmm. it's it's not trying to give you a kentucky hug because well no, no. <laughs> Yeah, the Kentucky Hug is definitely there and there's the other one. I was I don't know if Indiana makes any difference really, but it's still it's just it's just classic bourbon. Yeah. It's just like good classic high proof bourbon. Whereas this I think is more complex and more interesting. I, I agree with that completely. Mm -hmm. There's a tart component to it. There's a lot more berry component to it. There is yeah. there's, there's some outlying flavors that are floating around in there. Agree. Yeah. I mean, yeah. don't get me wrong, the the MGP one's good. Yeah, I mean it's good stuff. It's good. I don't, I don't mind MGT, MGP at all. There's a there's reason not, they sell as much bourbon as they do. They yeah. sell. Oh, they make great bourbon. No doubt about yeah. that. But I do enjoy their actual release back. Yeah, me too. Good job. Yeah. Thank you. Guys. Well done for your first time, guys. Uh, this yes, is indeed. This is a little young. I won't. I, I, I still feel like this could definitely use with some age. Oh, yeah. Another but, year on this is going to be even better, right? right? But really that, good. for what it is, it is. Really, really lovely. Yeah, absolutely. I, I really enjoy the hell out of this. I think they uh, did a great job. So, looking forward to the things they do with older whiskeys for sure. This is at three four months, not even three years old. Should be pretty impressive once they get to four, yeah. five, six. You know, out that. Yep. 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 All right. All right. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and be sure to turn on the notifications. And until next time, keep on crusading for better whiskey in your glass. Cheers. Cheers. Definitely finish it off with their new stuff. Mm -hmm. It's better. Okay, I pushed the button. The button is good. You push the button. Okay.
Three, two.